Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday. It's kind of mid-April, I think it's 15th, yeah. Tax day, uh, but that's been delayed. Hopefully you've done your taxes anyway, you've had plenty of time, right? We're, we're all kind of on some sabbatical. Um, interesting note for those of you who don't understand what it means to be an American who lives uh, in Europe. I still have to file taxes and I still have to pay taxes to the US government based on my global earnings. How do you like them apples? This is one reason why you don't see a lot of uh, Americans living abroad. The tax burden is uh, quite onerous. Anyway, be that as it may, let's take a look at the charts. Uh, let's take a look at the world in general. Euro kind of did what we asked it to yesterday. It was a bit messy through 70 there. We saw that uh, 77 high here, back down to 55, but never really poked below 50. Um, we've been as high as 90 today. Core long is the way. Cautious core long. We obviously we talk about this every day now. We like dollar Swiss and dollar Norway better, but it's kind of the same trade uh, as dollar Swiss for now. Um, today you want to look to pick this stuff up, maybe just below 50, right? There'll be some stops now below 50. Uh, are we going to make a daily low? below 10904 I don't think so so we can kind of lean into this you could use yesterday's P&L as a little bit of a cushion um, try and get short dollars through the long euro dollar trade cable bit of smash and grab yesterday all the way up to 126.50 should be support today down at 125.50. Been quite a few uh, green days here. We're running into this 127.26 uh, resistance. It's 125 points away, but we're looking for some sideways action in cable. Um, but the trend is up and long is the way. It's a very similar style trade to the euro dollar trade uh, just a little more volatile so depending on uh, your risk tolerance or your 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 preference right you know say you live in the UK you're totally comfortable with cable say you live in New Zealand um, you may be less comfortable who knows anyway dollar Swiss is our horse um, core short dollar Swiss 92 the low last night, 12 the high. You can sell between 29 and 49 today. Not much to say about this. This is just purely a QE trade. Um, a few of you asked me to go into a little more detail about this. You know, we like dollar Swiss because if Euro does blow up, Euro Swiss will collapse. Um, and there's every chance that dollar Swiss just remains offered. Uh, we also have one counterparty that's long 860 billion euro Swiss uh, that's our central bank here in Switzerland that makes it a little bit awkward right it makes it hard for euro Swiss to go higher uh, which also makes it easier to sell dollar Swiss and finally dollar Swiss you know your daily VAR uh, value at risk is lower and of course I live in Switzerland so I'm comfortable trading dollar Swiss uh, even though tactically speaking uh, I'm not that good at it. Anyway, Dollar Yen put a very interesting low in now, um, down here at 90. So that was the low on um, April Fool's Day was 93. The low last night was 92. This looks very much like the Dollar Swiss chart. Um, again, it's kind of the same idea, the same trade. Well, you don't want to be long euros, long cable, short dollar Swiss or short dollar yen, or just short TXY. Uh, sort of pick your poison. Sideways, 
for a little bit today and then continued lower, especially, I mean, once New York gets in, uh, if equities turn, they will give this thing a nudge lower to the left again. Talk about dollar czar. Um, South Africa cut 100 basis points. Now the magnificent yield on South African rand is four and a quarter. Economy's in the junkyard. Paper is all junk. No funds around the world can own it because it's junk. And now it only yields four and a quarter. Um, I applaud the move. I see what they're trying to do, but as far as global flow of money, which is kind of the main deal, one of the main deals with foreign exchange and interest rates, this sucks for uh, South African Rand. I would not buy this. Um, would not buy Rand. I think this is going right back to the highs, and, and as we talked about before, it's probably going to 20. So careful uh, with the czar. Rate cuts yesterday. Uh, we don't have a dog in this fight, but doesn't look too good for those guys. Aussie seven up days. Now we're coming off a little bit. A lot of bonds issued last night in the three year space, running into this resistance at sixty four sixty. You can it's a tradable short here. Um, we got short yesterday. It looked pretty ugly as we were uh, closed at 40, but now we have a much better average, and we're going to be trading this from the short side, which is a mildly interesting, I guess, because we're short dollars. We keep telling ourselves, short dollars, short dollars, short dollars. We're short Aussie today, um, which effectively makes us short Aussie Swiss, which you can see is a sort of a risk-off proxy where... We don't believe in this rally in stocks. And trading the short Aussie is like a less volatile way to express negative stock sentiment that we have here. The rest of these pairs, not really sure. Euro Aussie is just a function of, of Aussie dollar, really, because Euro's not doing a whole heck of a lot. Has it turned? It's a lot of red here, but you see it's a trendy fucker, Euro Aussie. This is such a trendy pair. People forget how trendy this thing is. This could easily go down to, I don't know. Uh, if our Aussie call is correct, this will have turned also. The high yesterday, we'll have to make a new high at some point is 71.63. I haven't quite made it yet. Something to watch if you like uh, spicy pairs, Euro Aussie moves. Um, liquidity sucks, but it moves. Gold, kind of an indecisive bullish bar. Uh, there'll be stops below 50. If you're courageous, you will fade those stops. Um, we're going to look to try and pick some of this up around 1700, really 1710 to 1690 is our target. Got some lonely bids down there. I'm not sure they're going to get filled, but that's where they are. Yes, bullish day yesterday. My, my. Um, right into the teeth of the resistance here. We've been talking about this. We did get paid up in the 40s. We did buy uh, 25s last night. We are reoffering between 40 and 60 today, and we will try and rebuy uh, in the tactical book. Selling high ones is what we're doing because we don't believe this to be a true representation of what is going on um, and it also now just looks stretched 30% from the lows pretty quickly um, in like three weeks I want to bring the NQ chart up as you guys mostly know I don't trade much NQ I don't know why but I just don't um, it's excellent excellent vehicle um, NQ1. The reason I want to bring it up is um, if you look at the beginning of the year here, January 1, uh, right here, or January 2nd, we opened at 
8777. So it's a nice little fun number, triple seven. Uh, that'll be flat for the year. This is a conviction cell, first time there, based on just psychology, right? You got some, you, we were in a terrifying downtrend bear market. Um, 87.77 will be flat for the year. There will just be a lot of people who will just say, fuck it. I'm so happy to be flat. So we expect a good amount of selling up in that area. It's still 100 NASI points away. Um, but this is conviction sell for us first time. Something to watch, just sort of a, a technical and psychological level. Boons, not doing too much. You can resell these suckers. We're waiting for this uh, 15 basis point to go, but you're tactically short boons. You've been tactically short boons for months. Um, this is the yield uh, yield chart. This is the price chart. So you're, you're tactically short this. You need to be able to wear prices up to 174.50. Like a broken record on this. I feel like this is like our dollar Swiss uh, perspective, uh, but tactically short boons uh, is correct. Finally, Dollar Norway didn't quite get paid if you were offering 40s yesterday, but you see this, it looks like she's turning a little bit here. So you might want to lift your 40 offers to sort of 50, between 50 and 70. If you're not on this trade yet, there's still a hope that you can get paid on a high one. Um, let's see how she goes. The reason she's holding here is, is, is oil, which is absolutely fucked. Surprisingly fucked. We could go on and on about this oil story. It's fascinating. It's interesting. Um, we talked yesterday about how $17, if you look at the monthly chart, you can kind of see it, is the 2001 low. So that's incredibly interesting. Uh, we did get down to 1070 and 99. Um, but I think $17 is going to hold it. Why? Obviously, there's massive demand destruction, but now there's massive corporate destruction with bankruptcies, with, um, you know, all of the Chapter 11 that's going to happen globally, all of the shutdowns, supplies will naturally dwindle. So if you believe Trump and OPEC, they cut 10 million a day, if you believe they're going to re- fill up the tanks with the strategic petroleum reserves that might be another couple million um, and then you see the demand destruction of 30 but demand destruction lowers as corporate destruction rises so check the rig count rig counts are down uh, who's going to start and invest in the oil business right now no one so there'll be a natural sort of, you know, cathartic killing of a lot of the oil business, certainly the weaker hands, which will reduce demand. So this is my hypothesis for oil. Um, 17 looks like a good target, but boy, it, you know, it's on its knees now. That's the monthly. It's just no good to trade that, but certainly it looks like we're going to take a sniff below 1919 if i if i showed you this chart and i didn't tell you it was oil you would unanimously say holy shit that looks terrible that that's going to go to zero um so just kind of interesting at this point we don't we're not short uh didn't have the balls well we didn't get paid at 29 and we didn't have the balls to sell at 2250 after the news so just watching now 17 looks like an interesting number to trade. Listen, I'm babbling on here 14 minutes. Good luck today. Um, we'll be buying euros on low. We'll be buying euro low ones here, uh, selling Aussie high ones, and we will be selling equities today, high ones again, but recycling that in the, ta in the tactical book. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.